What's up guys, this is Eric back again with another DB 4.0 and the theme builder tutorial. So in this video, uh, we will take a look at how the Divi dynamic content works. Uh, so uh, recently when the Divi 4.0 launched, the Elegant Themes uh, introduced us with a new feature uh, which is called the dynamic content. Uh, so basically, uh, before we start the video, we want to know uh, what uh, dynamic content basically is. So basically dynamic content from the word, we can guess that dynamic means uh, that um, all the content that we add to our website will be dynamic. For example, uh, we create a template using the Divi Theme Builder and we use the dynamic content in it. Uh, so what is going to happen is that we don't have to uh, create a, a template for each of our posts, our products, because the dynamic content dynamically uh, fetches the title, uh, for example, image, product type and etc but if you do not use the dynamic content while uh, designing post layouts uh, product page layouts what will happen is that we will have to uh, make changes uh, to the title and images of the product uh, every time we add a new post or every time we add a new product uh, so basically in this video we will just go through what uh, what dynamic content of DV uh, theme is uh, and we will also try to create a simple uh, design for a custom blog post layout. Uh, so this video is not going to be uh, focused on the design, uh, but uh, rather it will be focused on the new dynamic content of uh, Divi 4.0. So if you want me to uh, create a separate video on how to design a creative and a responsive uh, custom blog post layout, uh, make sure you tell me in the comments below and I guess that's pretty much it from the introduction part so without further ado let's jump back to our dashboard okay so here we are and and in this video we will try to recreate this design this isn't a very special design but uh, the main uh, concept of making this video is just to show you guys the power and the new features of the dynamic content so here, uh, here we have our featured image, our dynamic featured image, uh, I would say. And uh, we have this dynamic categories text here. We have the dynamic text here as well. Then we have the admin name, the date, and then we have our content here. I haven't uh, worked a lot on this content. It's just a uh, dummy content just to make a demo a blog. I'm not really good at making blogs for now. Anyways, we have this black code text here. Then we have this uh, uh, email opt-in form uh, and we have this blue background in, in the background at the parallax. And uh, basically the form isn't showing here right now because we haven't added any email service provider. Anyways, and then we have this fresh thoughts and we have our recent uh, blogs here as well. Uh, so in this video, we will try to design uh, this uh, uh, design. So uh, to, to get started, what we have to do here is that uh, we have to go back to our dashboard, Divi, and uh, we have to go to Theme Builder. So we have the Theme Builder here. So this is the custom body we have in the back end, uh, which is uh, like this. Uh, so what we're going to do here is that we are going to simply delete this whole section. And now to add a custom template for your post, what you have to do is that you have to go to Theme Builder. You have to click on this Add New Template. And then you have to select posts and all posts. So you want the template to be applied to all posts. You can do specific pages and specific tags and specific categories. And so it all depends on you. So we're going to select all posts and we are going to click on create template. So we have our uh, template ready. Now we can add a custom header. We can add a custom body and we can add a custom footer. So if we add a custom header to this template uh, section, what we'll have then will be a different header for our post and uh, a different header for our pages. So we don't want to do this. We just want to add a custom body to our uh, post template. So we're going to click on this add custom body here and we are going to select build custom body. Uh, so once uh, it has loaded, what we're going to do here is that we are obviously going to select start building from scratch and uh, here we are. So first of all, uh, we are going to add a, a section with a background um, image and uh, the image should be something like, uh, let's just say we select this one because 
uh, it is of the right dimensions once we do this what we're going to do next is that we're going to select use parallax effect and the parallax method should be css like this we're going to hit save changes and uh, then what we're going to do here is that uh, we're going to go and open up our section settings design dividers and we are going to add a bottom divider and the divider should be something like this and then we are simply gonna uh, decrease the divider height to something like this cool then what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna add a new section a regular section and a single column row here and in this row we are going to add our image module and this image is going to be our dynamic image but to make it dynamic what we have to do is that we have to click on this dustbin icon to delete our uh, default image so once we delete this we're gonna see an icon here the there are some kind of circles or coins stacked over each other and I add icon so when we hover over it it says use dynamic content so we're gonna click on it and we're gonna have three options featured image post author profile picture and site logo so basically uh, what this is going to do is that if you select featured image it is going to uh, display the featured image of every block of our blog post for example we have a blog post about a purpose theme it is going to um, display the featured image of that blog we have a different blog and it is going to display its uh, featured image post author profile picture what it is going to do is that it's just gonna um display the author's profile picture and the site logo is uh, obviously gonna display our site's logo so what we have to select here is that we have to display our featured image here so we're gonna select this featured image here and now it is going to take some time uh, but this time we'll, we will have the same default image but this time it'll say that it is a featured image so once we are done with our featured image with selecting the featured image what we're going to do now is that we are going to go to design tab and we are going to change our uh, image width to something like uh, uh let's just say 65 yeah that looks cool and we are going to change the alignment to centered uh pretty cool and now uh, we are going to decrease the margin uh to something uh like uh, let's just say something like this we're gonna hit save and we are going to increase the padding of our section we're gonna link this and now we're gonna uh, increase the padding something like this uh, we can decrease the margin to something like 180 pixels perfect now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna add a box shadow and the box shadow is going to be something uh, something let's just say something like this and we're simply gonna increase the blur strength and decrease the spread strength yeah something like this so uh, it, it looks cool now now what we're gonna do here is that uh, we are going to add a new row here and um, in this row we want to display our categories name so to do that what we have to do is that we have to add a text module so now to make it dynamic we are again going to click this three coins and the add icon button uh, which represents the dynamic content and we are going to select uh, post categories which is right here we can also select post archive title excerpt publish date comment count tags links post author author bio site title tagline and current date so there are a lot of dynamic features we can add uh, in this template but for now what we're going to do here is that we are going to select the post categories and we can add a before and after text so if we write something here it is going to display uh, the text before our dynamic content for example let's just say i write in uh, i write cat here and it is going to display cat before our dynamic content and if we write anything after it for example try it is going to display uh, the text after a dynamic content so we're just going to remove it we don't want to show this then uh, we have the option to link our category to index pages if we want to uh, we can obviously um, 
uh, enable it uh, and then we can change that category separator which is uh, right here and then we can select the category types we can also display our tags project categories and project tags but for now we are just going to display our categories here we're going to hit save and now you can see here that we have the post categories dynamic text in our body option now we're going to head back design text and because this is a linked text we have to make sure that we select this link uh, text design options and here we change our design for the text so we're going to change it to poppins something like this uh, we're going to make it medium all caps and we're going to change our link text to white like this and now we're going to head back to our text font and we're going to change the font to white as well here to change the separated color as well and now we're going to change the alignment to centered here cool once we have done this what we can do here is that um, add a background to our text module so let's just add um, uh, something oops let's just add this uh, color here now uh, let's just head back to design and uh, sizing and decrease uh, the width here uh, to something like this to something like 45 pixels let's just say and um, for the spacing uh, let's just add one pixel padding from top and one pixel padding from bottom and for the border we are just going to make it a little round of 10 pixels and then we can again decrease the width of our module to something like 35 pixels so it doesn't look awkward here and now we're gonna hit our save changes so we have our featured image and our dynamic categories uh, ready so now we're gonna head back to our post and we are going to reload it and see what changes have been created okay so cool we have the new divider our featured image here and our categories text as well so now we're gonna head back to our theme builder and we are gonna start adding some new uh, content to our blog post template so we're gonna add a new row here and this time the row is going to be of two columns and here we are going to add uh, our post our author name our author image and the date uh, published so to add other dynamic other to our post template what we're going to do here is that we are going to select blurb module and uh, we are going to select this dynamic content icon and this time we are going to select this post author here and before and after we can add a before and after text as well so for example if we if we add buy in the before option it is it'll say that buy and then the dynamic a name for the author so we're just gonna leave it the way it is we can also link our name and then we can also change the name format if you link our name make sure that the link destination is author archive page or if you want the user to, uh, to go to the author's own website you can obviously select this as well but for now we're gonna leave it the way it is and you can also add an author bio here if you want to so just simply go to body text and use a dynamic content and add author bio but i'm not gonna do that and i'm just simply gonna remove our uh, body text and for the image and icon uh, what we're gonna do here is that we are gonna delete this we're gonna select the dynamic content and add post author profile picture so what it will do is that it will fetch the a profile picture of our author dynamically so now we're gonna head back to design and for the image and icon replacement uh, I'm gonna select left like this and I'm gonna make it round so it uh, changes into a circle like this and uh, for the text here title text here I'm just simply gonna select it to poppins and I'm gonna change it to a semi bold here and I'm gonna change it to uh, light here increase the size by one pixels and add two uh, pixels letter spacing to this like here I'm gonna hit save changes add a new uh, module and this module will have our 
a post date post publishing date so we're going to add a text module and uh, we're going to make it dynamic so we're going to select the dynamic content and uh, select post publish date uh, so it'll fetch our post uh, date our post publishing date uh, so uh, I'm gonna hit save changes here and uh, I'm gonna go back to design text and this time the text font should be poppins and uh, the font weight should be light just like this one uh, and the text size should be 19 like this and add a two letter spacing two pixels letter spacing uh, to this one like this now what we have to do is that uh, we are going to add a box shadow to our row here so let's just add a box shadow uh, something like this and decrease its spread strength and uh, to something like uh, this uh, it looks cool now but now it looks a little awkward so to, to fix that what we have to do is that we have to open up our blurb settings and add a 10 pixel padding uh, to our uh, text here to our blurb here and for the text module here we're gonna select the alignment to centered and then uh, we're gonna leave it the way it is so cool it looks cool now now we have our, our dynamic featured image dynamic categories dynamic date and dynamic post author now it is time for us to add our post content so to add our post content what we have to do is that we have to add a new section regular section add a single row and here add post content so we have our post content so basically this model is just used to uh, set the default values of our heading one two three four five our linked text our black code hyperlinks uh, ordered and earned order list our images uh, and everything else so we uh, can simply uh, go to image we can add default settings for our images uh, so let's just create some changes here uh, let's just say that I want my all images to appear uh, with a rounded corners of around uh, 10 pixels and my images also should have a bottom border here and the border color should be something like uh, this just uh, to show you guys what we can uh, really do here and then I also want uh, my image to have a box shadow so I can add a box shadow here and then I want my body text for each of my posts uh, to appear in ladder font and it's and uh, and the text size should be 16 pixels like this and then um, I want my linked text to appear in a uh, green color and it should be in bold so now whenever we add a post we create a post we add a link it'll appear in bold font width with a green color now uh, we can uh, then select uh, uh, that same design for our unordered list our ordered uh, lists and our black code font and black code text so for the black code text here we want our black code font to appear in for example this font or let's just uh, change it to verdana so we want our black uh, code font to appear in verdana font and it should appear in bold and italic font style and the size should be something like uh, uh, 18 pixels like this and then we can change the border of uh, and then we can change the design option for our border here and we can let's say we can set this to something like this and we can hide this as well so it totally depends on us and let's just say that we want our black code text to appear in this blue color so it looks a little different from the rest of our font here our text here so for the heading text we can set the uh, design values for each of our heading style for heading one uh, let's just say we want it to appear in poppins and bold in ultra bold uh, and the alignment should be centered and the text should be something like 35 pixels and the letter spacing should be around two pixels we can do the same thing for the 
heading two, three, four, five, and six. We can uh, add different uh, design settings for each of our heading stuff. So we're not gonna waste so much time on this because this is just a video to explain you the uh, power of dynamic content. Anyways, we have our uh, post uh, content here. Now we can simply add a blog module to display our recent uh, blogs. So we're gonna add a new row with a single column and we're gonna add a blog module here and we're gonna select the post type to posts and we just want to show three posts uh, on the page and the design should be in grid layout. So here we have our blog module here. We can design our blog module. Um, uh, we can now we can later on design our blog module as well. Uh, also, if you want to design a blog, uh, uh, your blog module uh, to appear like the elegant themes, uh, the one they have, the design that they use, you can uh, uh, click on the link below in the description and go ahead and watch their video. Uh, anyways, so, uh, let's just save our settings here and uh, let's just leave this theme builder here and make sure that our changes here are saved as well. Go back here and reload it here and let's just see our changes that we have created. Okay, so cool. We have our categories, our featured image. We have the admin name, the date and heading one. It was a heading one, so it is appearing in center alignment. And then we had our headings and we had our uh, black coat font as well. And then we have our blogs here so let's just say that we open an another uh, blog post here and uh, what we're going to see here is that we are going to see the same design here the featured image the category text and then everything else our image here which has the border and which has a, a drop shadow as well uh, so this is it from this video i really hope that you are enjoying the new uh Divi theme builder update it is really cool. I just can't express my feelings in words that how cool it is. Anyways, um, if you find this video interesting, don't forget to share it with your friends. And, uh, and that's it. Keep learning, keep earning, take care, and Allah Hafiz.